Hi, this is Andrea Shulman again, and in today's quick Law of Attraction video, we are going to talk about when is the best time to manifest your desire. And if you aren't sure, please watch this video. It will really help. But first, if you're watching this video on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, please make sure to subscribe or follow my page. And if possible, turn on your notifications because I do release new law of attraction inspired videos like this one every single week. And also if you enjoy this video, it really does help me out. If you give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about it below in the comments, your engagement really does help promote my work here on this platform. And I truly do appreciate it. All right, but let's go ahead and talk now about the best time to manifest your desire. This is an important thing to understand because a lot of times when people learn about the law of attraction, they immediately go to try to manifest their desire. And I know for me, when I first learned about the law of attraction, I was guilty of this as well. I just jumped right in with some of these large things and it just really wasn't the right time. And so I want to talk about how do you know if it's the right time to actually be manifesting your desire. Now I found that there are two things that you want to have in place first before you go and attempt to manifest something that you desire before you go and use one of these methods that I've talked about, like journaling or vision boards or the five, five, five method before you do one of these kinds of methods, this stuff is real important. Okay. The first thing is you want to have a fundamental belief in the law of attraction. And what I mean by that is when somebody is new to the law of attraction, they may not be certain that it's actually working. They may not have actually picked up on the fact that that's what's going on. And in the early stages with the law of attraction, it is really, really imperative that you cultivate a belief in the process, that you notice that it's actually working, that you believe in it. Why is this important? Well, if you go and try to manifest something and you don't believe in the law of attraction, there's going to be an underlying projection that says, I don't think this is going to work, or this might not work out. This might not happen. This might be fake. This might be a hoax. This might be a myth. Okay. And if you're projecting that, then your reality is going to reflect that to you. The thing that you want to manifest isn't going to show up or you're going to receive some kind of evidence that makes you question the whole process. Now see right there, that's the law of attraction working, but it's going to convince you that it's not working because it's going to mirror back your belief or your lack of faith that it actually works. Okay. So that's kind of the first thing is you want to make sure that you have a solid belief in the law of attraction. You want to see it working. And so I've done lots of exercises here on this channel. I know the law of attraction test that I mentioned at the end is a really great way to cultivate belief, but make sure that you cultivate belief in the process before you start lunging for those larger desires. Now, when it comes to the time to manifest your desire, that's important, but this is also important too. If you have faith in the law of attraction, good, but you also want to have a solid belief that it's possible. A lot of times what happens is people go to try to manifest things that they simply don't believe in. So they may sit down and say, okay, I want to manifest a million dollars. And they think about it. They journal it. They do all this kind of stuff, but everything, every indication in their being is showing them that they don't believe in money. So they're scared to open their bills or they're terrified of debt or they're very, very frugal and holding onto their pennies, or they're worried about talking about money. And there's all this fear behind the money. When you've got a lot of fear sitting under what it is that you want to manifest, please understand that the fear is what's being projected. And so if you can't talk about your desire or think about your desire without getting stressed out or without getting sad, without getting anxious, without getting angry, without feeling bad, if any of that's going on, you have to cultivate some new belief structures. And this is where a lot of people put the cart before the horse. They just try to lunge at creating the desire without first changing the fundamental belief structures. So if you're feeling any kind of fear, stress, worry, anxiety about your desire, before you go and do your five, 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 or before you go and do, you know, one of the water techniques, or before you go and do your vision board, you want to shift your belief structures. And I will try to remember to link up a couple of videos that I have on techniques that you can use 
to shift your belief structures, but that really has a lot to do with timing. And please make sure to go ahead and watch those and apply those to any of these desires that are giving you stress or anxiety. Now, if you've got both of those things in place, if you know the law of attraction works, you've got it down and you're in a place where you can think about your desire, talk about your desire, and you feel okay about it or feel good about it, now is the time to manifest your desire. Now is the time to put one of those methods or techniques into place, okay? If those two things aren't present, make sure to do those first. All right, I really hope that you have enjoyed today's video on the best time to manifest your desire. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it below in the comments. And again, if you're new to my work, I would love to invite you to take that law of attraction test to help you cultivate belief in the law of attraction and see how it works. And to take that test now, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Thanks again for watching today's video and have a great day. Bye-bye.